So if you saw my video last week, uh, I gotta first off start off by saying I am super sorry. I'm sorry that Tamron didn't release the lens. Oh my goodness. I mean, we all have been waiting for that lens for a long time. And uh, I made a video about it. I saw the information on BH's website, and they let me down. You let me down, Tamron, and BH. But mainly Tamron. Ah! What's up, guys? And if you saw my video last week, dang it, I was so wrong about that Tamron. I mean, I had all the right information, but man, it just didn't turn out to be true, and I lost like th an hour of sleep that night because of it. I mean, literally, I, I woke up like 30 minutes before 2 o'clock and then stayed up till like 2.30 trying to keep refreshing the page in, in hopes that B&H was just delaying getting that lens out, and it turns out that... Uh, Turns out, well, Tamron just couldn't keep up with it again. Is that really a big surprise, though? Because their 28-75 is still out of stock. I mean, I got lucky and got it within that 12-hour window that it was in stock at B&H, but dang. And you will not believe the controversy. I mean, I guess you could if you're seeing this. You're probably like, yeah, duh. But there's so much controversy around this. My last video almost has as many dislikes as it does likes and I'm all those dislikes came pretty much after that Thursday like at 2 a.m. because everybody realized that I didn't really know when the release date was which if they actually watched the video I mean I don't know people get so upset about the information I'm providing or anybody provides like they get they get hurt when it doesn't come true and we're just trying to speculate with you and get you the, the information now as soon as possible I think it was more dislikes because it let people's heart down and they didn't get that Tamron lens like they wanted and yeah I'm right there with you I'm super sad and I'm still super waiting on this lens to come out because I'm going to pre-order it the instant it comes out. So you can very much expect a Tamron 17-28 lens on this channel. But it should be out this year. I mean, it, it seems like they're pulling an A7S 3 here where they're just like, Hey, we're going to be releasing it. It's going to blow your expectations away just like all of our previous stuff have. We're just gonna keep on delaying the pre or keep on delaying the pre- I mean, at least the A7S III hasn't released any specs on it and you haven't seen the actual camera yet. Or Tamron just literally came out, you know, at the beginning of the year and said, boom, here's the lens, this is what it looks like. You, it, you know, it's very small, internal zoom, and it's gonna look just as great as our 28 to 75, but it'll release mid. 2009 mid yeah mid 2019 I mean that leaves a very open window right I mean spring summer September could even be mid 2019 right yeah mid 2019 I morally want to make this video to say sorry for all those guys that and gals that were really hoping for that Tamron 17 and 28 video that I did be true and unfortunately BH's website is back to coming soon but we all know soon just isn't soon enough if you want to see the Tamron 17 and 28 when it comes back in stock subscribe to this channel Stay in tune because I'm going to have more information and I'm on top of this topic as much as I possibly can and 
I am going to be telling Sony Alpha Rumors as much information as I find out if they haven't posted anything like they did in the last one. I mean, who gets to be on Sony Alpha Rumors? That's so cool. Anyway, I will see you in the future. Oh, I get it. I get it. We can do the, we can do the, the camera conspiracy thing, right? A boardroom meeting, right? Oh, can I do that on this channel or is it copyright? Did he copyright that idea? I think he might have. So we gotta come out with a lens today. Yeah. We gotta come out with a lens today. What are we gonna do? <clears throat> Boss, uh, I think... I think we should, you know, come out with a wider angle lens than the 28 to 75. I mean... People were really upset that that 28 millimeter wasn't as wide as a 24, but um, so I, I, I think we can do it a little bit wider. And I, I got a great idea. Got a great, great idea. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, we make it wide enough to compete with the 16 to 35. We'll come in. And we'll go in just just one millimeter. One millimeter. And then we take it right to the 28 millimeter mark. So they have to buy both lenses to get that 35 millimeter range. But if they buy both, it'll still be cheaper than Sony's 16 and 35. So we win. We win balls. Well, yeah, <clears throat> you gotta. You have a point there. When would we release such a lens? I mean, it's. Gotta be, the demand's gotta be now, right? And it, boss, 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 we got it all under control. You see, the lens will announce it early and get the hype up as if there wasn't enough hype for the 28 to 75. I know we, I know we can't keep up with that model yet, but we, we will hype up the 17 to 28. And they will come, believe me, they will come. Bring in their fanny packs and Backpacks and all that kind of stuff, waiting just to load them up with 17 to 28s and yeah, all those young children that couldn't afford those G Master lenses. They'll, they'll be coming with mama's money and they'll be buying them, boss. They will, they will, I promise you. We could get it done, we could announce it early in the year and you know, we could release it before Christmas, right? Maybe November. If we have to, maybe we can announce it, get release it a year later, a year later, at the very least. I mean, I don't know what what our production's like, but we we could we could probably pull it off. Somebody get this guy a raise. Dang, you're smart. One smart cookie. Cookie. Sandy, Sandy, get me a cookie. <laughs>